idiot cops often make reckless decisions. But what happens when those decisions backfire catastrophically? Here are four times when idiot cops ended their own careers. Here's, here's what fucked up, dude. I'm a cop. Here's my you can, you can. No, dude, seriously, look at it. Oh, I believe you. Yeah, so yeah. I was like, I don't know what your guys' problem is, but. Okay. This is police chief Chad McCardle from the Boston Heights Police Department. On July 28, 2023, officers from Key West, Florida Police Department responded to a call when a taxi driver called 911 and alleged that an individual was banging on his vehicle and demanded the cops be called to the scene. After the cops arrived on the scene, they recognized the individual as 40-year-old Boston Heights Police Chief Chad McCardle, who was on a holiday. Chief McArdle exclaimed that he got into a fight and was allegedly attacked by someone. He then was fighting in self-defense. Watch how the situation unfolds. What's going on, man? Okay. Stab in the face. I literally just walked by and said I called. What happened, sir? Three guys oh, drove me in the car and pulled me in the f And they drove me south. All right, thank you. You're the best. In the face, too. Uh, you sing. What'd they stab you with? <laughs> right here. He hit me probably three or four times. I just called really guy and hard. Yeah. And then he got me right, right here. Thanks. So, and then hey, good luck. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah. So, but I had a... Do you have any idea who it is? Dude, I, you were in Spanish, a car? So. You said you were in a car with them, right? They, they pulled me into a car. They pulled you into a car. Here's, here's what I'm up, dude. I'm a cop. Here's my idea. So here's what the f***ed up part. Welcome, boys. No, dude, seriously, look at it. Oh, I believe you. Yeah, so yeah. I was like, I don't know what your guys' problem is, but okay. they had uh, seen like my girlfriend. Where did bar. they pick you up at? Uh, what whatever bar that that uh, dirt bags. Dirt bags, dirty Harrys. Yeah, yes. Dirty, Ricks and dirty yes, Harrys. Yes, yes. Okay. So they took me to some f***ing alley. It sort of kicked me in the face. And like I, I grabbed a stick and it started stabbing. <laughs> so. Okay. But I'm, I'm pretty sure I killed one of them. You think you killed one of them? Yeah. Like I, like he started kicking me right in the f***ing nose, and I was like, dude, I'm, like whatever, like whatever, and. Where did you walk from? Do you down, know? down here. And I started f***ing screaming. I'm like, "Who? Would you guys show me? Show yeah. me where you yeah, walked yeah. from." Walk with him for a second. In the back. In the face, too. Hey, you sing with this stuff. <laughs> right here, he hit me probably three or four times. I just called him right hard. And then he got me right here. Thing. So, hey, hey, good luck. Yeah, so I came up, kicked him in the face. I was like, all right, let's fing go. I broke the fing branch off and started just stabbing. So, if like, I, I don't want dude to be dead, but don't f around with me, dude. Chief McArdle claimed that he was attacked by a homeless individual while on his holiday in Key West, Florida. In self-defense, the police chief told the cops that he had stabbed his attacker with a stick. He showed concerns that the fight was so brutal that he suspected that the attack might be dead due to that blow. Watch what the police find out when they interrogate the alleged attacker. Did you come out here? Oh. What's your name? Joey. Joey, did you hear any commotion going on? Like a fight or something that just broke out? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Come out here for me so I can see you. Yeah. I'm in the alley right behind 424 Southern and I'm out with the 77 that stated there was a fight that just took place here. I was just hiding from him. You were hiding from him? Yeah. So what did you hear? I don't know, the guy just... Was it right here, or was it over here? It was, well... I was standing right there. Mm -hmm. You were right here? Okay. And he kicked me in the back. Kicked you? Yeah. I mean, out of, out of the blue. 
Yeah, if you could describe this guy, what did he look like? About your size. Okay, what was he wearing? I don't know. I don't want anything. But, uh, did you notice anything that you'd be able to pick out? Uh, I would say he was uh, blonde or redhead. Okay. That's about Skinny all. guy, kind of bulky, heavy set. Kind of. Kind of. Yes, okay. sir. Did you do anything to him when he kicked you? No. No. I, I hit the ground. Matter of fact, my back is. <laughs> And you were over here when he attacked you? Yeah, I was going in there. So when he came up and attacked you, did he say anything? No. He said, I'm going to kill you. Yeah, he did say something. So he said, I was going to kill you? Anything else? So, I'm, just, I'm trying to wrap my head around everything that happened, all right? So you were standing right here. Where did the guy come from? That way, because he kicked me in the back. So were you standing, you were standing right here, okay? So you're standing right here. Turn around. So your back was facing to the alley. Yeah. And he just walked up and kicked you. So you didn't see him coming is what you're saying. I didn't see him coming, didn't hear him, and when I hit the ground, mm -hmm. he kicked me a couple more times. Okay. And did you did you try to defend yourself at any point? No. You never tried to defend yourself at any point. I, he was way beyond me. Okay. All right. Um, I'm not a fighter. I understand. I can't give any description of all these people. So he stabbed him multiple times. There's absolutely zero stab wounds on him whatsoever. All we can corroborate is that he beat this poor guy up in an alley for no reason. So. Who wants to press charges? Put your hands on your back. We're going to detain you right now. We'll cool. do another investigation. Okay. Right. I don't know. Am I being charged or something? Right now, you are, you are detained. I think I murdered a guy tonight. The cops found no apparent signs of stabbing or any sort of attack on both the police chief and the homeless individual. Officers discovered that Chief McArdle had allegedly instigated the attack, surprising the unsuspecting victim by assaulting him from behind. Chief McArdle was arrested and taken into police custody after this incident. He was charged with battery. Chief McArdle was put on paid administrative leave following an internal investigation. If you think this was the only idiot cop who ended their career, wait until you watch this next case. I'm a, I'm a step out you're, of the car. You're being detained for a burglary investigation, okay, sir? So step no, no, out. no, 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 no. Do you live in the area? I'm not answering questions. I want my lawyer. Okay, okay. step out of the car. You're being out. detained right now. Sir. Step on out, dude. You're, sir. you're on camera, dude, so don't do anything dumb, okay? Step Hold on, out, dude. I'm going to get this okay. on camera. All right. Go ahead, Let's... you can record. Step out of the car, please. It's being aggressive. This is Officer Bruno de Oliveria from the Los Angeles Police Department. On January 20th, 2021, officers from the Los Angeles Police Department were looking for a suspect who they described as a 20-year-old black male who had allegedly committed burglary. The police in their search found a black male. However, the male identified himself as Jamal Williams, who was 40 years old and not their suspect. The cops were told that the suspect was dressed all black with a red t-shirt. Watch what happens when the cops still proceed to interrogate him despite knowing they might be apprehending the wrong person. Hey, 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 don't, hey, 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 hey don't, don't touch, don't touch, don't relax, touch, bro. Relax, hey, hey, you match the description of somebody, okay, that just committed a burglary in the area. Okay, you're on camera, so can, can, don't can, step out the is, car. Is your, is, your, is, your, is your body cam on? It's on. I'm not, I'm not stepping out you're, the car. You're being detained for a burglary investigation, okay, sir? So step no, no, out. no, 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 no. Do you live in the area? I'm not answering questions. I want my lawyer. Okay. I'll step out of the car. You're being out, detained dude. right now. Sir. Step on out, dude. You're, Sir. you're on camera, dude, so don't do anything dumb. Okay. Step Hold on, out, dude. I'm, I'm going to get this okay. on camera. All right. Go ahead. Look. You can record. Step out of the car, please. He's being aggressive. Stop resisting. I'm just, why, why, why are you... Why, no, man. Okay. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Sir, call your supervisor. Call hey, your supervisor. Call your supervisor. Over here on Paso Verde. Call your supervisor. 
We had two. Call your supervisor. 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 Stop, dude. Call your supervisor. Call your supervisor. Call your supervisor. Call your supervisor. I'm gonna chase you, dude. Get out. Call your supervisor. Yeah, I'm calling the supervisor. Give me your hand. I, I, I don't, 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 don't give you consent to touch me. Don't reach. I don't give you consent to touch me. Don't reach. I don't give you consent. Handcuff, handcuff, handcuff. I don't, I don't give you consent. We're going to be on Paso Verde. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Stop. Let go of the cuffs, dude. Okay. 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 Readjust Slow down a little bit. Relax. Relax. Hey, we got a we got right. a supervisor coming, man. I got it. I got radio. 142. And why don't we read come down a little bit? Yeah, I'm gonna stand up. I'm gonna stand up. I'm gonna stand up. Yeah, copy. It is code four. Yeah, let's get another roll. And again, we'll be code four. You can drop that. Hey, you got anything on you that's gonna hurt us? Right. Hey, you got anything on you that's gonna hurt us? That's a question. Clear. That's all you have to by for further. Let's lock these real quick. Hey, can you record this? It's recording. It's all, it's all recorded. Got it. recording. We all have cameras. Good, good, good. Okay. You're okay. No, you're okay, man. Hey, on you. These, these guys are ridiculous. Yeah, we are. There you go. Hey, is that me? Pull that sleeve up there. Mr. Williams was having lunch in his car when the cops approached him. The police get him out of his vehicle in an attempt to detain him. Mr. Williams, however, is dressed up in blue pants and a maroon sweatshirt. The police use force to get him out of the car. Mr. Williams keeps on resisting as he is confused since he has not committed any crime. Watch how the cops explain the situation to their supervisor when he arrives on the scene. I told him to be detained for uh, you know burglary investigation and match the description of the burglar suspect and he refused to get out. And all we did was just control holds and try to just hold him out. Control holds, takedown? Control holds okay. and then yeah, once we had him completely out of the car, then I just did a little takedown. Cool. And uh, team health, that's pretty much it. So once he was on down, that's when they showed up? Uh, no, I think they assisted. I think Bakko helped me out. Okay. Um, well, he was, I think, just there. And I just took him down on the right-hand side. I don't know who's on the, on the left. I don't know who's on the right. I know, but we have... No, no, I was fine. Okay. Ready? Okay. I got right. you. Ready? Ready? Cool. Yeah. Okay. There you go. All right. Have a seat in this car for now. Thank you. Specifically, one more time. See if it's inside the vehicle. Mr. Williams was put inside the cop cruiser and was arrested while they searched Mr. Williams' vehicle. Nothing suspicious was found in the car. However, despite finding Mr. Williams innocent, he was arrested for resisting an officer. After several months, the charges against him were dismissed. Mr. Williams filed a civil rights lawsuit against the officers involved. The proceedings of the lawsuit are unknown. If you think this was the maximum cops could end their careers, then you probably haven't heard of this next case. You said you're asking the customers for money and stuff like that? Oh, God bless them, Mr. Okay, well, they don't want you up front in the business. Okay, I don't want you up in front of the business. Okay, well, that's not how this is going to go. you think you'll get your car in the No. I'll give you five seconds. Two, three, four, five. Have a nice night. This is Officer Galt from the new Smyrna Beach Police Department. On December 14th, 2021, a civil rights activist and a YouTuber named Jeff Gray was standing outside of a local bar in New Smyrna Beach, Florida, holding a sign that said, God bless the homeless vets. The cops were called against him by the bar owner. Watch how the encounter unfolds when the cops respond to the situation. Hey, I want you up front. She doesn't want me to. The business. Oh, she back for Huh? She back for this? Why? Hey. You said you're asking the customers for money and stuff like that. Oh, God bless them, Mr. Okay, well, they don't want you up front of the business. Okay, I don't want you up in front of the business. Okay, well, that's not how this is going to go. you think you'll get your car in the No. I'll give you five seconds. Two, three, four, five. Have a nice night. They just don't want you up here anymore. I don't care. It's not, no, they don't have the authority to tell me not to be here. They said you're asking for money and stuff like that. That's what they said. It's hearsay. Huh? It's hearsay. That's, I say I'm not asking for money. Okay, well, they said you're up front. So can you just go somewhere else? No. 
Why? Because I'm not going to I'll put in my heart to stand right here. I'm going to stand right here. Okay, but they don't want you blocking the sidewalk and stuff. I'm not blocking the sidewalk. Okay. Do you have your ID on you? Uh, I don't have any ID on me, guys. Okay. And if I did, I wouldn't give it to you anyway. Alright, well, you need to just move along there. That's all they want you to do. Nope. Not happening. Why? Because I'm just saying God bless someone who says. Okay, yeah, and you have the right to do that. Yeah. They just don't want you in front of their business. I mean, is there a reason? Is there a reason why you're up here? God put in my heart to be here. No, is there a reason why you're in front of this business? Yeah. God put in my heart to stand right here and say God bless someone who Well, is there a reason why you're in front of this business? Uh, not, not particularly this business. I'm just on the public sidewalk. Okay, and you're not asking for money. I am not asking. I don't. For money. Okay, your sign doesn't say it, so I don't know. No. Um. I mean, have you asked anybody for money? I mean, I'll tell you, my name is Jeff. What, what's your name? Uh, Officer Galt. Officer what? Galt. Galt. G-A-U-L-T? G-A-O-T. G-A-L-T. And you haven't asked for money or anything like that? Uh, I'm not going to answer your question. Okay. Can I just see the back of your sign? All right. Can I just get your first and last name real quick? Uh, my first name is here. Jeff. No, 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 no. Why not? I'm not answering I mean, just, you're making this more complicated than it has to be. No, I'm not. I'm standing here on the sidewalk saying God bless some of this I know, but you just... Causing... Are you talking to any of these customers? Yeah, I'm saying God bless some of this veterans. Okay, well, if they don't want you talking, then you just can't keep saying the same thing over and over again, causing this problem with them. <laughs> Alright, well, have a nice time, sir. Okay, well, they just want you moved along, so can you go ahead and move along for me? No, sir. Well, I'm just going to stay right here. God put it in my heart to be here, and I'm going to stay right here. Mr. Gray denies to move from where he was standing. This prompted more officers to arrive at the scene. However, rather than de-escalating the matter, the matter started to escalate. You good? No. I changed my mind about the ID. I will show you my ID. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here's my ID. All right. Yeah. <laughs> well, can you just move along for me? That's all they want you to do. I'm not moving along. I put in my heart to stand here and say this, and this is where I'm going to stand. Okay. Well, they don't want you in front of the business. They, you were you were on their sidewalk. I've been. No, no, no. I, look, I'm. I'm not answering any further questions. I've never well, been he, on their property or anything. Yeah, he, like that. he said you were on your property. On That's the property, right, I was not on their property. So. Well, the the property. business owner wouldn't lie about that. But he wouldn't lie about it, but he might be incorrect or misinformed about where his property line begins and ends. Okay, so it's my word against his. It's just hearsay. I've been standing right here the whole time, saying God bless the homeless veterans. Okay. Just, they literally just want you to move along. Uh, I'll move out. along. When I get finished doing what I'm doing. How long is that going to be? As long as I need it to be. <laughs> I mean, I'm just asking. I mean, I mean, how long do you feel like you need to be up here for? Uh, like I said, God put it in my heart to do this. I'm just going to stand out here. I'm getting a lot of traffic walk up and down, walking up and down the sidewalk. It was before you got here. But uh, I'm just going to stand here and say God bless all the friends. Okay. Did you with him? No. <laughs> Chill. <laughs>
Um, I just talked to the guy, the business guy. Yeah, he said that his weight waitress is not so comfortable with him out and certain things since he's here. He's recording, he's refusing to give me ID, his name. He's saying it's, it's, it's constitutional right to stand there. But the business waitress doesn't feel comfortable coming out. So, you are on a public sidewalk. Okay. They are saying that it... They're uh, saying that you are asking for money. Okay. So, they have every right to have you move along. And since we're here, because they called for you, we have to identify you. That's I'm, not, I'm not giving you any ID. If you I'm don't, you'll go to jail. I'm not giving you any ID. I guess, I guess show him. Can I reach like I'm ID? It's, this is my ID. You, I mean, you won't play that game. Mr. Gray denies identification as per his constitutional rights. For those who don't know, according to the Fifth Amendment, citizens are not liable to identify themselves to law enforcement officers if they believe they would unreasonably incriminate them. Watch what the cops are about to do. I'm not showing you anything else. I'm, at this point, uh, I'm invoking my right to remain silent. I'm invoking my right to have my attorney present during questions. I'm not answering questions. I'm not giving you ID. I'm just making sure that you understand that your attorney has nothing to do with us. Okay, your attorney has to do with court. That, that's not us. And because we're here for you, we have the right during an investigation to identify you. I'm not identifying myself. Okay, so you're going to end up going right. to jail. I told him my name is Jeff, and that's all I'm giving you. Hey, no, if you want to give us your information, then that's fine. But we still have Am to. Am I being detained at this point? Yes. For what? For the, identifi for the identification of you. Which is an investigation that they started. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not giving any identification. I would like to remain silent. Okay. At this point, you're being detained. Okay. So, let me see this. Do you have anything in your pockets that'll poke, stab, or anything? Since you're asking me if I have anything Step in my board. pockets, I am armed lawfully. Okay. I'm still carrying them. Okay. Where's it at? Um, here's my hands. I'm not. It's in my pocket. In your front pocket. Yeah. Here's my hands. Okay. Perfect. If I want you guys just put me in cuffs, I don't want any. Yeah. I don't want. Okay. 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 Your attorney is a corporate. That's not the best thing. All we want to do is identify you so that I don't have to search any searches. I don't have to any searches. Well, you're, you're, right now I'm making sure you have no knives on you. And then when they write a statement saying that that you were breaking the law, it's this. Is that a knife or no? Is that a knife? Uh, I don't have any knives. Okay. There's two magazines in my left pocket. I don't consent to any searches. That's fine. You just told me there's magazines to the gun that I just pulled off, so I'm just grabbing those. You still have keys on you that don't have a knife. Alright, let's take this off the sidewalk and go over there. I'll bring this stuff to us. We never got to call. Okay, relax. Okay, so. Just so, I want to make sure that you understand that you're forcing a hand that doesn't need to be forced, okay? We're not here to take your gun. You'll have it back. Right now, it's mine because we had to detain you, okay? That's what you pretty much asked us to do, okay? When you don't want to identify yourself, then we're called. So, it's totally different if we're driving by, and that's you over there, right? You're not requesting anything on your sign, you're not breaking any laws, okay? When they say, when they complain to dispatch that you're asking for money and that there are customers who are telling the staff that, that is against the law. So we're doing an investigation to see if that actually occurred, okay? That's the only reason why you're being detained. But because it's an actual investigation of a complaint, you have to identify yourself. That's state statute. Okay. That your sign doesn't say anything about money. And I just asked the, the guy who's sitting on the porch, and 
he says he didn't hear you beg for money. And so the only person who has a complaint has a complaint about you standing on city property, which is not his problem, which is what I was explaining to him. Just... I just want to stand there on the sidewalk. That's what I was trying to just tell him. I just get to grab what's going on. 10 four. Um, so you have the right to be on the sidewalks and you have a CCW, you have the right to carry. Um, I would just suggest that you don't, you know, it, I, I don't know that you're asking for money or anything. I don't know if, you, if you're needing the money or what, I don't know. But that's not up to them to decide whether you can stand there or not. Um, so. Is he, trust, is he like trespassing me from the property? He can. Um, there's so if you look at Jason's corner, they've got a you know that big awning. That's where the restaurant's property line is. It's a it's legitimately a seam in the concrete. So on this side, on our side of it, is a city side, which is evident by the crosswalk. You know. Um, Do you guys have business cards or anything? Yeah, I'll get you one. So, you know, it's... They called. They said that you were begging for money. After the investigation, that's not true. That's what they told dispatch. But the only person who's been sitting out there the whole time is the guy that's sitting by the bench. And he said he never heard you say that. So, that's exactly why we did The cops arrested Mr. Gray and accused him that he was begging for money. However... This is still not a crime in Florida. Subsequently, he was released several minutes later after the cops confirmed that he was not found guilty of the accusation. This incident resulted in an internal investigation by the department. However, the result of it is unknown. It is unclear whether Mr. Gray pursued any legal action. If you think this was the last cop who ended their career, then you probably haven't heard of this next case. Who's that guy? Who's that guy running down the street? That's his friend. They, okay. they say somewhere up there. Okay. Do me a favor, man. Go ahead and put your hands on your back for me, okay? What did I do? You're in possession of a stolen motor vehicle. What? What? Diggs, you want to go and verify that for me? Yeah. These are officers from the Furkay Police Department. On January 14th, 2021, a resident of Harnett County, North Carolina, reported that his dirt bike had been stolen. When the victim found his bike listed on an online marketplace, he arranged to meet the seller. Claiming to go get the cash for payment, he instead called the cops. The police arrived and interrogated a 14-year-old named Malcolm Ziegler, who was the seller. They accused him of allegedly stealing the dirt bike, asserting that he did not own it. Watch how the interaction unfolds. Okay, what's your name? Malcolm? Malcolm? Yes. What's, Malcolm. what's your last name, Malcolm Ziegler? Yeah. Okay, you got your ID on you? No, I do not. Okay. But that wasn't us riding. We haven't rode at all this week. Where, where, do all, where do you stay? You stay here? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I haven't read it all today. She could have just came by here. Mm. Who's that guy? Who's that guy running down the street? That's his friend. They, okay. they say somewhere up there. Okay. Do me a favor, man. Go ahead and put your hands on your back for me, okay? What did I do? You're in possession of a stolen motor vehicle. What? What? Diggs, you want to go and verify that for me? Yeah. What? Do me a favor, man. Just um, come to my car right over here, okay? What the... Can I get the bill of sale and show you that I bought it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll get all that taken care of, man. But what I what I need to do is just hang tight for me right here, okay? Oh my gosh. What did I do? Just hang tight for me right here, okay? So so here, here's what's going on, okay? So that vehicle, that vehicle's been entered as stolen. What? Okay. Which one? The the dirt bike right over there, the Suzuki. Uh huh. So I know you've been trying to sell it on Facebook Marketplace. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, it's been reported stolen. It's been edited as stolen. So right now, you are in possession of a stolen motor vehicle. Well, can okay. I show you the bill of sale from where I bought it? Absolutely. You can definitely show me that. So right. I mean, I did not steal it. I okay. show you. Where, where's the bill of sale at? I, I think it's in my house somewhere. Okay. So here's what's going to go ahead and happen. Just hang tight for me. Matter of fact, do me a favor, sir. Go ahead and step right, right here. Oh, my God. 57 key foot, two males, 1095. So I have to go to the police station? Yeah, yeah, just hang tight, hang tight. Let me go do this real quick. I gotta search you, okay? Alright, that's fine. 
this phone. Okay, phone right there. Yeah. I'm just gonna go and set it right here, okay, sir? All right. And then there's keys in this. Yes, sir. How old are you? Okay. You said 14? Yeah. Okay. I think my airport's in the Yeah. We'll take them yeah. out for you. Got to get a little something in there. Alright, right, sir, do me a favor, separate your feet for me. Go and look at me real quick. Open your mouth up, sir. Tongue up and down. I right, appreciate it. And then I want you to do that one more time for me. You guys good? I mean, yeah, they're in the house. Can you ring the doorbell and tell my dad to get that bill of sale somewhere in the house? Okay, y'all not gonna, they not gonna We're, we're, no, we're about to take care of that, sir. Okay, all right. We're gonna take care of that. All right, okay. Appreciate it. All right. Sir, can you, can you open your mouth, tongue up and down? Appreciate it. All right, and let me check you real quick right here. Um, I, I can get the exact date for it. I'll get that for you in a second, okay, sir? And, sir, um, do me one second. Squat down slightly, okay? I'm just gonna do this real quick, okay? All right, so what I'm gonna have you do, I'm just gonna have you take a seat right here. Okay, I'm gonna open the back of the... I gotta get the police car. Just take a seat for me right now, sir. Um, we're not leaving, going anywhere yet. I just wanna, wanna get you seat, seated. That way you're not standing around out here, okay, on the street. Now you're a little tall, so it might oh, be a little, you okay? The handcuff, ah. Uh, What's going on? The handcuff. All right, step out, I'll fix them for you. Ah, uh, What's going on with him? Right when it's like real. Oh, I got you. Okay, all right, just hang tight for me. There we go. And so let me just do this real quick, that way I don't. I see you got something right there. Those These are the ones he just filled out. Okay. The, because he was gonna sell it. Oh, I got you, okay, okay. But we're looking for the one that, where did we go get the bike? Maybe Chester, like a week ago. Nah, I know where, what was it, like two weeks ago? A week ago on a Wednesday. Or Thursday. So that's what I'm asking. Where is that one? Didn't the guy? Didn't she did one. sign one? Yes, she did write one. Look by the. I'm pretty sure it's only counted by where you put the mail at. You look on there. In the bin? No, it would, I don't think it'd be on the bin. It'd be somewhere right there. Let's see what the fuck. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you just go put your legs in for me for a second. Alright, you got it. You're almost no, there. Sorry, but I thought you wear like a 14. <laughs> <laughs> alright, just hang tight for me, man, alright? Hey, is he so detained or is he he's detained, detained right now because he is he did he's not, 14. He's 14. Yes. Okay. So I already explained to him he's detained right now. I told him that. So why is he detained? Because that's a stolen motor vehicle. Okay. So I mean, Diggs verified the VIN number, right? Did you? Is that before all that that you verified before you? I, I detained him, and then okay, we that's verified. That's why I asked if he was 1095 or detained. He's detained. Okay. So obviously he's a juvenile, right? Yeah. You're not charging him with larceny of a. Nope. Okay. Because obviously that didn't happen. Yep. So worse you have is what? Possession of a stolen motor vehicle. Which is, you gonna think you get secure custody and all that? Probably not. Or a petition. All right. You're 14, me personally, you ain't going nowhere. You're here with what, Dad? Mm hmm. Ain't no sense having him sit in the car tent with handcuffs on. Where? Okay. You ain't, if he was 18 and you might be taken to jail for mm -hmm. possession of stolen property? Right. Different. But we ain't, you ain't gonna take him to jail, right? It's gonna be a petition. Mm hmm. I'll go ahead and take him out. Um, question for you. Um, so, supposedly, I know they're working on getting the bill of sale right now. Mm -hmm. I haven't asked him plenty of questions, but he's been running his mouth. He said that he got it from some guy off in Lewington, okay? okay. My whole thing is, I know legally he can still be charged. Yeah. Um, if he's got a bill of sale, me personally, Yeah. I have grown up racing dirt bikes, buying four-wheelers. I got yep. three four-wheelers at the house now. Yeah. I've never once had one run until I was a cop. Most people don't even know how to sell a 
if one's stolen or not besides yep. you get a bill of sale and you think it's not stolen because you got a bill of sale and that then matches and exactly. you're on your way. Yeah. Um Dig the cock this guy for it. That's what he buys. He buys he buys bikes that has problems, fixes them, sells them, flips them. That's yep. what he does. Hey, where all do you think that bill of sale might be at? So you can step out, we're gonna take the handcuffs off. Yeah. Where all do you think that bill of sale might be at? I mean it's it's either gonna be in the county possibly in I mean, I have so many, it's kind of... Yeah, I know, your dad came out with quite a few. So do me a favor, go and separate your feet for me a little bit. Separate your feet as well, too. Lean forward so I can get the get the key, okay? Yeah, I'll Separate your hand as well, too. You said what? Just separate your hands, there you go. I'm just saying you got to fall forward and hit your head on Alright, go and take that hand out for me, sir. This one? That one right there, you got it. Now, let me go ahead. Look for it. That's interesting. I'm just... Alright, that's entirely up. We'll get something. I usually put them on the counter in my room. In the desk, in the desk. The hey, we can go in there with him. Uh, I can go in there with yep. Mr. Ziegler was handcuffed and detained as he was suspected to have stolen the bike. However, he had bought the bike legitimately from the person who stole it. Mr. Ziegler later showed the cops proof of purchase and the receipts when his father intervened. Mr. Ziegler was released from handcuffs and the cops left without any further action. It's strange to see cops making catastrophic decisions that end their own careers. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe for more. Goodbye.